Hello, my name is Grian, and today I'm going to be showing you a bunch of beacon designs. I saw a bunch of comments asking for it, so we've made lots of cool ways to decorate the very odd looking block. So let's get straight into it, shall we? We're going to start off with some smaller designs and start making our way to larger and larger and more complicated. The first one that I want to show you is this large torch. It's a very custom made one and underneath is where the beacon actually is. Part of the problem with beacons is that you've got to hide a lot of these very ugly looking blocks and make sure that they're not so obvious in a pyramid style. So that means quite often putting them underground. But once we've done that, you can then decorate the top with you know, staircases and the anvils and the glass to form this really cool looking flame. And the key here is to mix in the different colored glass to get that nice flame effect. We've got two different variations on this design, one in the traditional orange, yellow and red, and then one in the blue flame topped off with a bit of purple. The next design is a fountain. I did want some that you would have in the middle of a town to symbolize, you know, where exactly it is in the world. So this isn't fantasy or over the top, this is more of a normal design and it's fairly simple. We've got a couple of benches dotted around the fountain. The design itself is fairly simple and there are loads of different variations that can be made. It's the concept of having the beacon down the middle in the center of your town to mark where everything is. The beacon itself is two blocks underneath the ground along with all of the little gems that you might have as well. Although people may steal stuff if you put it in the middle of the town like that. So let's move on to the next one, shall we? Which is more of a like World of Warcrafty fantasy type thing, which is a gem. It's meant to be like a crystal that is emanating the beam out of the top of it and it's got a nice little fantasy holder that curves around it. The key to making this crystal, seeing as it's quite small, is utilizing the panes and the full glass block and of course it can be any color that you like. The plinth itself is made out of some stone brick and some variants of it and in the middle is the beacon hidden way down below. And it's those little curving arms that may be difficult to create because it involves a lot of slabs and upside down staircases and that kind of thing. And don't forget the trap doors as well. Next up is possibly my favorite design of the entire video. We've got obviously two giant spheres and how we've decorated them is quite different. There's a lot of cool ideas that came from this. So we've got this mixed magenta and pink style orb and then we've got lots of nether brick that hold it up and it goes all the way round finishing in a final twirl that makes its way round one of the top bits of the orb and it looks almost like Lord of the Rings or a Warlocks type thing and then obviously the beacon goes straight out of the middle to indicate where it is. This would be awesome on top of a giant tower of some kind. And on the other hand, we had another idea where you put an atlas on it. So this is more something you might find in a giant classroom or I don't know, this would work pretty well in the middle of a town if you asked me. I love the fact that you've got all the different shades of green, you've got some blue in there and some ice on the top and the bottom. And then of course the atlas bit is made out of wood. So this is a pretty creative way of hiding your beacon or making it decorative in some way. Let's move on to the next one, shall we? Which is more of a traditional type of Minecraft beacon design. We've got a normal looking house or a you know, small design and the beacon itself is coming out of the chimney. The color of which comes from the custom smoke that we've put out the top. Now obviously there's not a lot of room in here and the beacon is just hidden in one of the corners all the way down there. But it's got all of this glass that changes the color on its way up. It's the custom glass at the top, which is, you know, meant to be smoke, and it's a good mixture of all the different colors of gray, white, and light gray, all that kind of stuff, and it looks really like smoke. I really enjoyed that effect. So next up, we've got a couple of weird designs, but they work really well. They're both Atlas style, meaning it's a human that's holding the world. But of course we're in Minecraft, so we've got a couple of statues. And on the left, we've got the stone version with obviously a Minecraft person. But of course, instead of holding the world, they're holding a giant cube. It's not colored, it's entirely gray to sort of imitate the whole statue thing. It's fairly simple, this statue. It's got a lot of stone brick staircases and slabs involved but the overall shape shouldn't be too hard to copy and then the beacon itself is hidden inside the cube which you can 
sort of hide as best as you can, you know, just to get the beam of light there. You probably wouldn't want any of the benefits of the beacon up there as you wouldn't be able to get up there. The second variation of this is as a tree. We have exactly the same atlas style statue but instead of having just the block on the top we've got a bunch of leaves and this lighting technique using end rods and hoppers obviously this is a much more natural approach so if you have a forest town or some sort of jungle village or treehouse or something like that this might be the design for you and the beacon is hidden in amongst the giant trunk in the middle we've got a large mixture of glass and leaves mixed in there as well so the two of those make up a pretty cool design for statue lovers out there speaking of statue lovers we got the next one which is a lot more complicated than it might first appear we've got an angel statue which would look pretty cool on like a church or even in the center of a town some sort of ethereal like build plenty of opportunities to use it we've got a stone brick plinth at the bottom but it's all about this statue here which although it's quite small has a lot of detail packed into it the beam of light goes straight through the middle and through the halo at the top directly in the middle so that's one of the cool features of it got really nice looking wings and excellent detail on the hair. Since this one is a little bit more on the complicated side, I will sort of stare at it a bit longer for those of you that do want to copy it and you can see all the little details, but since it's so slender, you should be able to pick out where all of the staircases and stuff end up. So let's move on to the next one and I want to start going into some more structural designs rather than statues and more arbitrary concepts. So this one is for a forest design or some sort of treehouse, kind of like what we did earlier, but this one is more in the typical pyramid design that you might expect from a beacon. Although it's covered in a lot of grass and leaves, you can actually see the triangular shape of this design and everything that's needed for the beacon is hidden underneath it. It's quite an odd choice, but it works pretty well for the center of a town and it's surrounded by a wall to protect it, although you don't necessarily need to include that part of it. Having just a pretty cool pyramid in the middle of your town or whatever is a pretty decent way to show where your beacon is and to decorate it in that way. Next up is the mandatory desert design. We've got a pyramid, which might have been a bit obvious considering the shape of beacons. We've got a little entrance here, but I've just covered it up with some black concrete to indicate where it could go. There's not an awful lot of space inside, so you might want to do what I did there. And like I said earlier, it's in a pyramid shape and it's not particularly large because of the shape of the beacon at the top. It doesn't particularly go very deep. If you wanted to make a way larger size, that's entirely possible and you just have the beacon at the top. All of the diamond and that kind of junk is hidden underneath the sandstone itself. Moving on to my all-time favorite structural design of this video, the lighthouse. And it seems kind of obvious now that you've seen it because the lighthouse and the beacon hold similar concepts for function. They are to show where the land is. And it's not entirely that difficult to make. Just alternate with a bit of stone brick at the bottom and then red, then white, then red, then white, all the way to the top. I've obviously mixed in some textures with this design, but you could just have some red concrete, white concrete, red concrete, white concrete, all the way to the top. Adding in a couple of windows as you go, I put mine on the white lines themselves. Themselves. And then it starts to get a bit bigger at the end where the actual lighthouse is going to be Although this is mainly to cover up the beacon shape underneath because you need a bit of space to put all of the diamond blocks or emeralds Or whatever it is and then the beam of light goes straight out of the top and into the air oh, And I've put some red glass on the top there as well So I've ended up at the back of this design which doesn't normally happen So I've got to swivel back round and move on to our final design of the day, which happens to be another desert design. We've got a slightly larger, but not a pyramid structure that works pretty well. We've got the beacon, it's almost like an altar, like a sacrificial table in concept. And you might even think that this would look pretty good on its own in the desert, just laying there. 
You know, making beacon designs is not an easy task because it's such an odd thing to just have a pyramid. And the problem with them is, once the beacon's outside of the render distance in Minecraft, you don't see them anyway. So you have to have an immensely long render distance for them to make any difference whatsoever. So, in my opinion, beacons aren't as useful as you might think, although they do have those little auras and stuff, so... I guess they do have their purposes, I just don't find them as useful as they could potentially be in the game. Nevertheless, you guys asked for some beacon designs, which we have now done. And I want to thank Happy Jellyfish and Pleasant Moon, who helped me make a lot of these videos, but this one in particular, they helped an awful lot to make. We've got all sorts of crazy cool designs with a mixture of weird ones with the atlas and then some statue ones with the atlas again, but a different kind of atlas. We've got some fairly normal ones with like the house one and then we've got some structural designs like the lighthouse. So hopefully there was enough variations on this design video to sort of give you some ideas on what you could do with beacons. I wasn't entirely sure what people make when they decorate beacons or most of the time I just think they have a pyramid out in the open and just leave it at that. Who knows? So anyway, I hope that this video has given you some inspiration for your beacon designs. And as always, I want to know which one was your favorite and what showcase video you would like to see next. There can't be that many left. I've pretty much showcased everything in Minecraft to date. So maybe you want me to go over some other ones that I've done previously and they maybe need a bit of updating. Anyway, leave a comment down below what you would like to see in particular and I will do it. Thanks again for watching and goodbye.